It's 6.15 in the morning. I'm not used to getting up this early, and I have a feeling I might be late for my first personal training session. I'm gonna text my client right now and tell him I'm gonna be one or two minutes late, because I'm definitely not making it to work by 6.30. I'm not used to this early morning stuff yet, and crutches do not help. That was, a, that was a very aggressive intro. I'm sorry, good morning everybody. I hope your day's going well. Mine's okay. <laughs> It is 6.31. The personal training session was supposed to start at 6.30, but I texted my client and he said he was running late as well, so I don't feel so bad about it. Funny thing, he might actually potentially walk, watch my videos. If so, I'm sorry. <laughs> F you, Mike. <laughs> Why? I don't even know why I'm making those noises. It doesn't make sense for me to make those noises. Okay, now it kind of does. Look at that vein. Is that a vein? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go walk away from the camera and then walk towards the camera again. Holy F. Is it getting warm out? Jesus, I'm, it's freaking just steamy in my car right now. AC, 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 AC. Full blast. Anyway, two personal training sessions and one workout later, and a whole lot of caffeine, I am done with work for the week, and I'm headed back home. Oh yeah, and that client was also like 10 minutes late. I was only two minutes late, so I think, I, I think we're good. <laughs> It's very hard getting in a car. <sighs> so I'm out by all these, all the like trains and everything here in Milwaukee. And I was going to try to do a time lapse, but it's pretty much impossible out here. All these things are pretty much covering up any good view. Like, I wanted to do one over that way, sort of, because there's some traffic. But I can't, because these things keep on getting in the way, and it kind of just, just ruins the shot. But the good news is that I'm kind of walking again, sort of. So I don't, like, entirely need the crutches, but it's, oh, kind of just, like, feels like I'm back to square one. I feel like a, a baby deer learning to walk again. I can walk, I just have a limp. So I think I've mentioned this on my channel before, I'm not really sure, but I used to be a division one sprinter in college, and now I've been dealing with both of these meniscus injuries, and I do not feel like a division one athlete anymore. I know it's been like a couple years and I'm retired and I'm a, I'm a washed up athlete, <laughs> but now I've had both of these meniscus tears. I feel like I'm a very athletic kind of person, and that's one thing I pride myself on is being able to have like the skill to pretty much do anything I want to. But now, after going through both of these injuries, that's just like, this has definitely kind of given me a reality check. When it comes to these sort of things, you never really think about it until it happens, and then happens again. And it kind of like puts you in check with what your body really can take over some time. And the meniscus injuries probably were because I did track and field for nine years and had for nine years straight was some of the most intense training I ever have done and ever will do in my life. I guess what I'm trying to say is that injuries like this can kind of give you a reality check on what your body really can take. Yeah, the human body can do some amazing things, but it does have its limits. I do have my drone with me, but I went to take it out and it's out of battery. It also looks like it's gonna rain, so. That kind of sucks. <laughs> I don't think I have ever heard louder car speakers in my entire life.
kind of scared the crap out of me. So it's actually the next day, or if I'm being honest, it's actually two days later. You know, I was filming on Friday, today's Sunday, I was filming on Friday, and the like, I, mean, I don't mean to make excuses, but like the weather was getting bad, my drone was out of battery, and if I'm being honest, I was just kind of realizing some of the limitations I have with my, my knee right now. I have since sort of gotten off of crutches. I use them a little bit, but I'm mainly just walking around. But on Friday, it was my second day of actually putting weight on my leg, and I wanted to do more than what my body was letting me do. I kind of had to take a step back, or a, a limp back. <laughs> I had to take a step back and just kind of listen to my body and realize my limitations. Is there a hair? There was a hair. I had to realize some of the limitations that I have right now. Fireworks. And do what I can without pushing things. So I gave up on Friday because I had to listen to my body and just realize some of the limitations that I have right now. But with that said, I'm actually pretty much walking now. Like, I, I, I can walk. This is pretty good. One thing too, oh, yeah, see, that kind of, I gotta, I, got I can't do that, I can't, I did a little like jump on this leg, I, I can't do that. What I was saying was this is actually where I was like uh, four months ago. Three months ago after my first surgery, but it's nice to be walking and outside because I don't want to miss out on summer because that would be, that would suck. <laughs> Another thing too I wanted to mention was that I've been getting back to work part-time as a trainer again. I think I've said this before, but having a knee injury and or specifically a meniscus injury and being a personal trainer, probably the worst job to have with that kind of injury because I can't do anything. I cannot properly do my job. It's been a little rough getting back to it. My clients don't mind. I feel bad about it because I can't do my job properly, but it's nice to get back to training. I miss it. I miss being in the gym and it's nice to start working out again. Oh. <sighs> Six weeks straight, no working out, it sucks. I'm gonna go fly my drone one more time now that I charged it and it's all ready to go. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in hopefully a few days. Peace out. I have missed doing that. That is so much fun. <laughs>